Let's draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for neon. On the periodic table, neon has atomic number 10 and an average atomic mass of 20.18. We're going to say the mass number is about 20 because we want a whole number. The atomic number, 10, is the same as the number of protons. This is my symbol for protons, and I'm going to put it in the center because this is going to be the nucleus of my atom. Now the mass number 20, about 20 here, is the number of protons plus neutrons. So if I want just neutrons, I have to take that number and subtract the number of protons. That's still going to give me 10, but the fact that these numbers are the same is a coincidence. You always have to take the average mass given here and subtract the atomic number. My symbol for neutron is N with a little zero there to show that there's no charge. Do what your teacher tells you to. I need 10 electrons as well. This is a neutral atom. They haven't told us anything otherwise. And by the way, noble gases generally don't get charges because they don't bond. So 10 electrons it is. The first shell can hold up to two. One, two. First shell's done. Second shell can hold up to eight. And I'm actually gonna max that out because two plus that extra eight is what's gonna give me 10. So one, two, three, four. You'll note that I'm separating out my singles before I double any up. Five, six, seven, eight. That's eight electrons in my second shell. That's as many as it can hold. If I needed any more electrons, I'd have to draw myself a third shell. I can put up to eight in that, and then I have to do a fourth shell. And after calcium, it gets complicated. But before calcium, it's easy. Two, and then eight, and then, well, if I needed them, I could put another eight in there, but I don't, so I won't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten electrons, check. Ten protons for the atomic number, check. Ten neutrons for the ten plus ten equals twenty for the atomic mass. Done. Easy peasy. Hope you find it easy too. Best of luck.